uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, and of course, for, for fans who are just catching up, we learned that her catalog was sold by Scooter Braun earlier this week uh, to a private equity firm. Uh, you argue that Scooter Braun's, that Taylor Swift's back catalog uh, can certainly shake it off. What do you mean by that? Well, there's a concern that because she doesn't, really doesn't seem to like um, Scooter Braun at all, um, she will therefore be unwilling to help you know, promote these old records, and in fact, she's going to re-record them and release them anew because she will continue to get a cut of, of, of the royalties that um, that are paid for this uh, for these records. Now, given the, the this is a private equity company that has bought the back catalogue, given the returns they're targeting and the difficulty it is as a private equity investor to find significant returns at all right now, I think they can still probably expect to make a pretty penny from this given the kind of huge appetite both for streaming music and for, of course, Taylor Swift songs themselves. Uh, Alex, i got to ask you, are you a Taylor Swift fan? I, I am, I'm sorry to disappoint, but Ugh. I'm not particularly. I'm you not gotta, you got to get into it. I'm sort of actively a fan. Her music is amazing. In the Netflix documentary that came out earlier this year, it, it, was, it was pretty awesome, too. Bloomberg Opinions, Alex Webb, who's not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but maybe will be in the future. Thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.